me, Elizabeth. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today, I'm super excited about my World Series um, videos I'm going to be doing. Um, I decided that I'm going to be like checking out books in the library. Um, and I'm going to be checking out books about different countries in the world. And I know there is a lot of countries in the world. And I'm not going to be doing every single country because that would take a long time. And there would be a lot of videos. So I'm only going to do about three different countries. I'm going to do three different countries. Now, I'm going to start with the one I'm going to be talking about today, and then I'm going to be doing checking out two other books from the library about two other countries. And comment below what you would like the other countries to be. Um, and if um, I, I always read all the comments. So um, I will see if I'm going to do that country. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah. So I'm doing a World Series, three different countries, I'm going to be talking about it. So if you are going to these countries, or you just love history, or you just want to learn about a different country, um, maybe you're going there for a business trip, or you're just going there to enjoy, um, I hope these help you. And today I'm going to be talking about, welcome to Russia. Russia is the country in Asia. Actually, Asia is the country of Russia. Um, yeah. Um, Russia is a big country. It's huge. They say it is bigger than Pluto, which, yeah, I'm not totally sure about Pluto. But they say it's really big, and these little dolls here are Russian dolls. And these, you can actually make them look like you, I think. That they can, like, they paint them, and they, um, draw them with their faces and everything. And they can make it look like you, the face of the doll. I think I heard somewhere, but... These are really cool dolls, and um, I would love to have one of these. So if um, if I do go to Russia, I will get I would want a doll like this. So this is Welcome to Russia, country of the world, and there is Italy, Russia, France, China, Brazil, Japan, USA, United Kingdom, Indonesia, South Africa, Greece. It's all a bunch of different countries. It tells you about the country and everything. And I live in the United States. So, um, you can get a book, uh, Welcome to the USA. USA stands for United States of America. Um, so yes. And, yeah, and then it has, there's another one, uh, United Kingdom, Germany. Um, I was thinking about doing Germany next, so if you like that idea, you can comment below. Whatever you want me to do, let me know in the comments below, and I'm just going to jump right into the book about Russia. This is Russia's flag. It is white, blue, and red. This is a girl from Russia, as you can see. Uh, she is pretty young, as you can see that. Um, and the Arctic Zone is up here. There's an Arctic Ocean by them, and the Arctic Zone gets really cold, and I heard that Russia gets really cold in the wintertime. So, Moscot, Moscow, I'm not sure how to say it totally, I think it's Moscow or Moscot. Um, let's just go with. Moscot. Moscot. Moscot is the capital, and it is a really big city. And then St. Petersburg up here, which is another main one that a lot of people go to. So, yes. And um, China's over here. And it's just the big continent of Asia. There's mountains. Ukraine's over here. You can see. Yep, right there. It's kind of like peeking out on the side there. <laughs> and um, it's white blue and red, and if you have seen the United States flag, if you're not from this country, the United States flag has um, red, white, and blue, but it doesn't have like this kind of stripes. It has like a patch kind of thing, and it has 50 stars for all 50 states. Um, yeah, pretty sure there's 50 states. There better be 50 states, because if I'm saying 50 states, there ain't 50 states, then, hmm, not very good information. And <laughs> it's good information, but we want to make sure it's accurate. So yeah, you just look it up. And then, um... Red, white, and blue is the stripe on the flag, um, and the flag is red, white, and blue. So, Russia has red, white, and, red, white, and blue, too, so I thought that was really cool. Um, and, yeah, that's just right there, and I love it. Okay. So, now we're going to go into Welcome to Russia. My name is Tanya, and I come from St. Petersburg and Russia. My country, Russia, is the biggest in the world. It covers over 17 million square kilometers, six Point six million square miles, about one ninth of the world's land area. Russia ends from the Arctic Ocean in the north 
to the Black Sea in the south, and from the Pacific Ocean in the east in the Baltic Sea in the west. It is divided by the Earl Mountains into a European region in the west and an Asian region in the east. For many years, Russia was part of a huge country called the uh, Soviet Union. The government tried to tell people what to do and how to live their lives. In 1991, the Soviet Union broke up. Then Russia, along with ten other former republics, formed a group called the Commonwealth of Independent States, or CIS. People are now more free to live their lives the way they want and to follow their old traditions and customs. Our flag changed in 1991. It used to have a gold star and a hammer and a stickle on a red background. Now it has three horizontal stripes of white, blue, and red. So this is what the old flag used to look like of Russia. And now it's this flag, so it switched. And it switched in 1991, so just to let you know. So there we are. Old flag, new flag. <laughs> um, <clears throat> family life. St. Petersburg is in the northwest of Russia. It is Russia's second largest city and used to be called Leningrad. St. Petersburg was once the capital of the Russian Empire. Many beautiful places, churches, and squares were built by Caesar Peter I, who was known as Peter the Great. So it was actually named after a person named Peter, Peter uh, St. Petersburg. My family lives in a small rented apartment in a high-rise building. There are many apartment buildings like this in St. Petersburg. Some of them are very crowded with two, two families living together. Our apartment has two bedrooms and a living room, a small kitchen, a lovely, okay, a bathroom and a balcony. I love to sit outside on the balcony and draw the people I see on the city streets below me. So, family, friends get together for a meal. And there's just a picture. Right there in this apartment. So it's basically, there's a girl that's sharing her life in St. Petersburg in Russia. So Moscow is the capital. I have an older brother, Alex. He is at university studying to be a doctor. My mother, Savlania, is a teacher. And my father, Mikhail, lectures at the university. My uncle, Sergi lives with us, too. He works as a journalist on the city newspaper. After school, I watch TV, play chess with Alex, draw pictures, or play with my friends, Dasha. My friend, Dasha. She lives in an apartment next door. Dasha has a tabby cat called Coco. I would like a cat, too, but my mother says it's it make too much mess, and she would end up having to take care of it every day. Maybe she will change her mind soon. People who live in the country have their own houses. Some homes do not have electricity, gas, or running water. My grandmother meets with her friends every day. So, in Russia, um, they love to play chess. So, yeah, that's one of their all-time games here. And these are some uh, houses in, like, the country of Russia. And some of them do not have electricity, as you have heard. And um, there's some people. Yep, there they are. Some people um, in Russia. So... And then it goes on to school, uh, sports, and lecture, and all that. But I just read Family Life and Welcome to Russia. I read two pages of it, and I cannot read the whole entire book because it would take really long. So we just have school, sport, leisure, Russia culture. And I'll just show you the pic some of the pictures. This is the circuses they have, the dolls, um, like the plays and stuff. I'm just going to show you through it because I can't read it all now. And here's people singing. And they have Russian Orthodox is their main religion there, um, yeah, so, these building, church building, and this man, he probably is an orthodox, <laughs> yep, yeah. so, um, food and shopping, yeah. so please, if you like Russia, and you just like hearing about it, if you have been to it, let me know, comments, comment below, if you're from there, whatever, just let me know in the comments below, subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up for culture videos, and, um, yeah, whatever you want to tell me in the comments below, feel free to tell me, and subscribe to this channel, because me and my sister would love to have way more subscribers than we have, so please do that. And then it says, how to make Pashka, um, you will need two cups of butter, seven egg yolks, two cups of sugar, cottage cheese, cream cheese, vanilla flavoring, raisins, nuts, lemon, and fruit, so, it's just telling you different recipes, Pashka, uh, you can look it up, P-A-S-H-K-A. See right here. Yep. Making sure I'm telling you what page is on because like looking down like this, but so mm -hmm. 
And then we got landscape. They got mountains. Their climate is very cold in the wintertime. It can go down in St. Petersburg to 9 degrees. So very cold. Moscow, 9 degrees. July, 63. I mean, very harsh, cold winters. So if you go there, you want to have a really fur coat. And I know they wear the hats that just cover their head. And they wear the really big, thick fur coats made out of animal fur. So um, you go there, get a real good coat because you don't want to freeze. Just let you know. <laughs> and, um, yeah, like even here in the USA, it, it can get pretty cold. So, everywhere it gets cold, but they're, like, Russia is up north. Um, so it does get really cold. And where the United States, where I live at, Russia is on the other side of the globe, the planet, basically, of the world. So, yeah, I think it's really cool, but, um, it's really nowhere close to where I live at, but... If you go to it, I um, hope you enjoy. Let's so see this. This is some animals. And then we just got these. This is like the Kremlin. Right there, the Kremlin. There is one of their big churches, museums. And I think the Kremlin looks really pretty. It's like an old building. It has like a jewel pointing thing right here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to zoom right in real close. Right up there. Little jewel thing. I think it looks cute. I mean, I really love, I really think the building's very pretty. It's like all the buildings are like historical. They have really good architecture and like design. So let's grab it about that. And then industry and all agriculture. Agriculture. Transportation. They have um, the mascot uh, train. Usually, people don't usually have cars, I don't think, there. They just go on the train or the subway or the just basic stuff people go on. History and government. Um, and then the fact, climate, very bitterly cold, hot and humid in the, um, summertime, highest mountain is Mount Elvaris, 5,642 meters, 18,511 feet. Um, natural resources have pernium, iron, coal, diamonds, natural gas, timber, furs, precious metals. Official name, Russian Federalization. Um, population 150 million people. Wow, they have a lot of people in Russia. They say that Russia, they have, like, I think a lot of people, like, way more than USA combined. And it's the biggest country in the world. So, a lot of land there. So, yeah. Um, and then it tells you in the back, um, Russian words and stuff like that. Um, polka, so long. Thank you, spasiba. Yes, da, no, niet. Good morning, dobre utren. Good afternoon, dobre den. Um, and then hello, you could say zafrath. I don't know how to say this one. Okay, please. Um, if you're talking to French, you can just say privet, privet. I, I, I would just say privet, please. I, I don't think this word um really hard in English to pronounce it because it's Russian word, and in English, we don't have the same vowel system, the same pronunciation as you Russians have, so, uh, some of your words are really hard for Americans to pronounce, and I know that if you're from Russia, they, I heard people in the internet say that if you're, if you're Russian and you're trying to learn English, English pronunciation is really hard to learn. I don't know for experience, because I speak English, so I don't know how it would feel if I was in another language and I was trying to learn English. I do not know. So, if you are from Russia and you have learned English, comment below how hard it was. Or, when I learn more of Russian, um, I can tell you my experience and everything. So, yeah. Hope you like this video. Um, this is Welcome to Russia. And you can just go pick this up if you want to learn about different countries. Um... That's just Russia, and we're going to be doing two more countries, so comment below what you want me to do. Subscribe to the channel, hopefully you like this video, and hopefully you're getting ready for the fall, because I really enjoyed wearing this um, really baggy um, sweater collar neck thing today, um, because it's getting chilly where I live at, and yeah. So hopefully you're getting into the fall mood, um, if you would love fall, if you want me to do a fall fashion video, let me know in the comments below also. Thank you all for tuning in, and hopefully this video was not too long for y'all. Bye, y'all.